Hey guys, this is Isaiah here at PAX West 2018, and I'm here with um, Mark Tekanoff from HyperX. HyperX, and we're going to talk about their newly announced uh, keyboard. Uh, what are we talking about today as far as keyboards? Okay, well, this, what we're doing is we're announcing a brand new keyboard at HyperX, which is our Alloy FPS RGB. It's based on the original Alloy FPS design, but we've changed out the switches. We're going to a speed switch. We're using the Kiowa switches in this case. so. It's the Kiowa Silver Speed switches. Uh, we also added a dip style LED, which is much brighter than the original designs of any of the keyboards that we've seen on the market. So very strong, very bright. We can support it using our Ingenuity software so that you can make changes, customize it, save three custom profiles, unconnect it, plug it into the next machine, and it all works fine. Awesome, so there you have it, Kiowa's Switches, if I can get it right, Kiowa. Kiowa switches on the HyperX keyboard, yes. And so I have to ask, how is this different than Cherry keys? People are really used to the Cherry MX keys, and obviously this is a different brand, but you still want to, you don't want to alienate customers, yeah. and you want them to still feel like they're using a keyboard that's responsive and everything. So yeah. how is this keys really, uh, does it help the consumer as far as playing video games, or is it really different? What, okay. What's your feeling? I mean, that's a great question, because actually we're not switching away from Cherry. We still have our three or four additional designs we've done before, including the Elite and some others. What we did this time is we added in this particular one because we wanted a speed switch. Speed switch meaning that we're able to actuate the key in a shorter distance. So it's a 1.1 millimeter actuation. So people that are doing gaming will want a very fast keystroke, use speed switches typically. So Kiowa had the silver speed available for us, and we decided that's the best approach for us for this particular design. All of our other products are still using Cherry MX. So again, th that's the major difference between the two. But high quality, they've been doing this for a number of years now and we've seen their manufacturing and we know how they design it and it's an excellent quality speed switch. Yeah, I mean, I definitely reviewed a keyboard in the past with Kiowa switches and I liked it. I used the Browns, obviously, that's gonna be every key for every switch is kind of different, the actuation and how it responds to your hand. So you would say if you're a person that likes to leave, leave your hands on the keyboard, that uh, might, might not be a good idea if you leave your hands on it because the distance for the key to actually click is a very short throw. So oh. you wanna be careful on that. As far as what the feel is, the feel's similar to a red linear switch from Cherry. So it's a very soft, quiet click, but it doesn't take a lot, long actuation to cause it to do something. Awesome, so people that are, like I said, kind of used to red, this is gonna be different, but if they like red, they're probably gonna like these and jump right onto it. Exactly, if they, if they like the feel of the red and they want a very fast key switch, the, speeds, the silver speed switches are perfect switches. So also around here we have the RGB, that's a big thing uh, for every single company. As far as RGB goes, how does this fit into ecosystem? We have all your keyboards are RGB, your mice are RGB. Do you have any headsets that are RGB or are they different? Do you have anything that works with that? So that's, that's a good question too. So uh, what we can do, we can say it this way, is that we have an ecosystem of products that use our Ingenuity software. The Ingenuity software controls the mice and the keyboards so we can change colors and custom designs, save the profiles and use them. We also have a feature, and I'm not sure if it's been released, but there's a revision of our software where it will control and allow you to look at the power available on our new flight headsets. So it communicates with that particular headset and future headsets as well. But those three particular products work together. Um, as far as controlling LED lighting on our memory and our new Fury SSD, RGB SSD, uh, those are controlled by the motherboard software or the motherboard BIOS to make those color changes. So you guys, are you thinking about adding that feature to your, like the motherboard, obviously each manufacturer has their own version. You think you're gonna release a HyperX version that works for their motherboard, but it's your software? Mm, we don't plan on doing that short term because we don't know the specific details of how the motherboard works. And they're the experts of their products. So we work with four of the major brands, Asus, ASRock, Gigabyte, and MSI. All of them have their own software that they've created for their own particular motherboards. And the best way to do it is for us to send samples to their Taiwan engineering labs, let them go through the certification, let them make sure it works with their designs, and then I'll sell their product and say that it's been tested or certified by the motherboard brand. So that's great. So it's gonna, it doesn't matter what uh, memory they buy from you guys, and uh, SSD you just kind of announced uh, a month ago or so, 
Um, that means that they plug, it's kind of plug and play if they have the right motherboard and the right software, obviously. Uh, so as far as the Fury SSD is concerned, we have uh, support on the motherboards. There's a four pin jack on every motherboard that supports RGB. You would plug in the SSD into that jack and then the color schemes are controlled by the motherboard. Again, it's based on what their application and their BIOS allows you to do. So if you have a system and you have internal lighting, you would have your internal lighting, your water cooler, your SSDs will all work together and collaborate on the same color system. So if you're running a blue colored system or you're doing rainbow or other effects, all the products inside the case will now have that color scheme. And I definitely saw at the booth, you also have it looks like a PlayStation version of the HyperX uh, cloud or revolver kind of style. What makes this uh, a PlayStation product? Is it different than anything else? It's more of a positioning of the cloud series of the family. We, got, we went to PlayStation, we wanted to license our headset. This is the perfect fit for people that are doing PlayStation type of gaming. And so we know that the cloud design is very comfortable and something that people like and want. So we basically did a blue color scheme. We ran it through their engineering certification to make sure it meets all their sound and audio requirements and apply their logo onto the headset and also onto the packaging. So people that go into retail or they're looking to buy everything that's PlayStation, so they're gonna buy the, the console, the headset, everything else colored blue, just like PlayStation, matches perfectly for them. Yeah, and, th and then there's one other product you'll see on our table, which extends one step further and that is a micro SD cards. So people that buy Nintendo Switches don't have a very much internal capacity to store a lot of games. So what you'll see here is we have Brand new now, about two weeks ago we announced it, three new micro SD cards under the HyperX brand that meet the speed requirements of the Nintendo Switch. So whether you're looking for 64, 128, or 256 gigabytes of additional storage, you're able to get that now from HyperX at the right speeds that meet Switch requirements. And of course you can plug it into an Android or any other machine that needs a micro SD card and it will work. And if you're a gamer and you're doing Fortnite or any other kind of a game, any device, you probably want the additional storage. So that's what HyperX is. We, we announced some, some new products. Awesome. So thank you very much. Um, right here at PAX, the only way to buy the Alley FPS RGB keyboard is at PAX right now. I uh, hear it's going to be released uh, to the public in the next month or so, yeah, correct? W within a few weeks, you'll see it publicly announced, yes. So if you're at PAX and you see this video, definitely stop by the booth, check out their gear. Try the switch and see if you like it. I definitely like it, but like I said, I put my hand on the keyboard, so it's kind of a different play style. So, thank you for checking out this video. There's more videos coming soon. This is HyperX at PAX 2018 West.